Hi YouTube and welcome back. Today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to create lightning. Now this is a pretty cool function in Maya and uh, it's not too difficult. You just have to know where the buttons are and how to set it up. So uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, I usually start off with creating a ground plane because you know uh, as far as lighting goes it you know the reflection is pretty cool so it's not absolutely necessary but uh, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to make sure that I'm in polygons here click on plane and then with your left mouse button drag it over the grid roughly release it and hit 5 to make it solid so that's 5 on your keyboard click on your right mouse button hold it go down assign new material and in this case I want something nice and shiny so I'm going to go with a Fong E when I got that selected, I'm going to go to the right, to the attribute editor, and I'm going to select the color bar here. I'm going to go with white. All right. So that's all set up. Now, if you want to create lightning, <coughs> you need to make sure that you have two points where the lightning goes from. So from A to B, two objects, so to speak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two uh, spheres and I'm going to position them on the ground plane so I can create the lightning from the one to the other. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I'm still in polygons, go up to sphere, create a sphere, drag one out, like so, hit the W button so I can move it, move it a little bit like that, move it a little bit like that, okay, that's fine. Now I want another one on the other side of the ground plane, so I'm going to select it again, make sure I got that object selected, okay, and what I'm going to do is Control D, and Control D duplicates that object. I'm going to drag it out again, I'm going to drag it over here, and that looks pretty good. Now. Normally, for this scene that we're setting up, I would choose um, a light source, but considering that lightning itself is a light source, I don't have to do that. Okay. So now we're going to set up the lightning, and that's pretty easy, as I said. Okay. So what you do is you select the two objects where the lightning is coming from and going to. So one is already selected. Okay. So you hold down your shift button, and you click on the other one. Now, both are selected. Then you go up to the menu here, and instead of polygons, you click on dynamics. And then here you see a tab effects popping up. Okay, so you click on effects, and then you go to create lightning. And that takes a little bit. Okay, so now you see a line between the two objects. Now, because of the ground plane that I created, you can see that the lightning bolt is kind of, you know, in the ground plane, so to speak. But you've got a couple of handlebars that will allow you to move that around. So if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see here there's one of the handles. Now I'm going to pull that up so you can see the lightning better. And you can pull that up and you can pull it sideways and whatever you want, right? But in any case, make sure it's pulled up. And I'll move over to the other one as well. And there you've got that little handlebar again. And it's a bit tricky to get it. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pull that one up again. Zoom out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to position it for my rendering. I want to render this so it looks cool. So let's, you know, for argument's sake, put it in the middle here. And now we're going to go to our render settings. Way up here, this button is render settings. And we're going to choose a nice quality and image size and stuff like that. Now, in this case, you can still, uh, you can just leave it in Maya software. That's fine. Okay. Now, if you go here, quality, instead of custom, let's do production quality. All right. That should be good. Okay. Now, in the common tab, we'll hit on enable color management. And as far as the size is concerned, Let's go with an HD 720. Actually, it's not size, it's size slash quality, so to speak. It's the resolution. Okay. 
and we have that selected okay we hit close and then we go to the render button hopefully that's not going to take too long all right and there you go there's your lightning bolt hope you liked it and uh, hope to see you back thanks again bye